Libra. What's up? Okay, so I was channeled this message earlier today for myself and I asked my guides, should I do a video on this? And I was given yes, I was given the okay. So here we are because I know this message, like I'm not the only, <laughs> wow, spirit is funny. I heard lickable Libra, but listen, why I'm saying that? You're like, oh, why am I saying that? They see you as a lick is what I was channeled. So cleansing your energy, cleansing my energy really quick before we get into this Libra, because who sees you as a lick? You know? Ooh. I just heard a motorcycle in the distance. We have the chariot at the bottom of the deck of the Hoodoo Tarot, and we have the Eight of Pentacles. See? But this is you. This is your. And look what's behind the Eight of Pentacles. The Ace of Swords. This, These are your ideas. These are things that you have manifested. She's holding the green money manifestation candle. These are things you have worked for. Okay? Your accomplishments. All that. This is all things you have created yourself, manifested yourself, and worked hard for yourself and somebody sees you as a lick that's exactly what my spirit guide told me so i'm like okay i haven't heard that saying in a really long time we used to say that oh my gosh like i don't know 15 years ago like hit a lick you know what i mean like, oh, so-and-so hit a lick. So they see you as a lick. Like, what? No, 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 no. It's not good to be seen as a lick. I mean, you, that means you're seen as somebody who they want to take advantage of and take from. A come up. You're looking like a come up to somebody. And this is no bueno. Look at that, Aunt Caroline. Wheel of Fortune. Some of you are definitely coming into this windfall energy. Somebody's going to be interviewed here. On the news. Maybe you live in one of those states where if you win, like, the lottery, you have to say who you are. Mm -mm, I don't like that. I don't like that. You should be able to remain anonymous to avoid the, the paparazzi, <laughs> Libra. Anyways, to avoid the attention and your identity, you know be compromised because people will really see you as a lick so i could be talking to librans who are more in the public eye or you take a leadership role or you get to your bag either way it goes okay who is this person that sees libra as a lick who are these people Who are these people that see Libra as a lick? Wow. The Nine of Cups. The Nine of Baskets. These are people that you could see frequently. Dang. This can be anybody. I mean, any, you know, this is about people that you invite to sit at your table. I mean, to me, this is like a Thanksgiving spread. Like, it, that could be anybody. Friends, family, associate. We do have Father Sims at the bottom. So, Sagittarius, because this is the Temperance card. 
So a Sagittarius, and usually in the Nine of Baskets, the Nine of Cups, we see many cups. So this could be someone that likes to drink, okay? This person that sees you as a lick. Yeah, I'm focusing in on the wine bottle. Wow. See the wine bottle in one of the nine baskets? Yep. These sunflowers, I just heard Leo. Yeah, look at that, look at that. Look at all the stacks of cash in that basket and in this basket there's a lot of jewelry. These all look like notebooks to me. Like important notebooks or knowledge. Who sees Libra as a lick? Yeah, I'm telling you what, Libra, the Five of Swords. Oh my gosh. With Father Sims, Temperance, Sagittarius at the bottom for a second time. And this person is a liar. I just heard liar, liar, pants on fire, fire sign for sure, and they're a liar. They would lie under oath, they would lie to the courts, this person does not care. They're super, um, cutthroat, okay, oh, knives. They're holding by their throat. This person's cutthroat, masculine or feminine. This is a feminine in this five of knives, and this is a masculine in the temperance. So it doesn't matter. It could be either or for whatever Libra. I heard for some of you, it's both. Lord. Who sees Libra as a lick? One more card. Who sees Libra as a lick? Dang. Another nine? <sighs> With the six of coins? People from your past? Oh, that's the six of cups. Well, I just heard some people from your past. Look, Libra, this is how you're being seen. Listen. Whether this is actual, factual right now, this is the Nine of Pentacles with the Six of Pentacles. Look at all the eyes on her dress. So many evil eyes. Fix my little... Why do you want to play like that? Stop. There. They're each colored. Different. Crystal heart. And then I've got my evil eyes. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I just had to real quick. Yeah, like, be gone from around thee. And be, be gone from around Libra. Look at that, though. Look at the seven on the dice. I'm telling you. This came out in the Word on the Street reading earlier, that 7-Eleven energy. Ooh, my right ear's ringing. Lucky, lucky Libra.
So we have cups, knives, coins, and we kept seeing the temperance card. I mentioned Leo and Sag. Okay, let's ask with this deck. The Eight of Wands. Jeez Louise. It could be more than one or two people. Sheesh. Clarify this nine of baskets, please. Oh, that was quick. The two of swords. Yeah, this is people that you wouldn't think. Like, you don't want to believe. You're very conflicted about, you know? Very conflicted. Like, is it actually this person? For real, for real? Bottom of the deck, the eight of wands. I'm hearing Mockingbird, even though these are ravens. I'm hearing Mockingbird. Don't be naive, you know, don't let them, they're mocking your naivety, like, they think you're naive. They think you're you you can't see this. They also want to confuse you of your incoming opportunities with the Eight of Wands as well. It's a lot going towards the center, right? All those wands are heading towards the center, the spark. Yeah, Libra, you feeling fizzy about to pop, baby. <laughs> okay, and they can see this, but they want they don't want you to see this. They don't want you to see this. So it's like if they can't, oh I'm, oh, I'm about to sneeze. If they can't take something of yours via, by trying to get close to you with the Nine of Cups, whether that's like frequent the same places you frequent even, or lie on your name. Even in the courts, that doesn't work. They give you the evil eye galore. Wow. I've never been channeled that before. For some high ranking or These different psychics that can remote view and astral travel. They're, assi they're assisted, I heard. They did not gain these abilities naturally because I'm actually getting a message that I've never gotten before and I've been working with this Hoodoo tarot deck for some years now. 1441, 1444 on the clock. They're trying to astral project. They're trying to watch you via
whatever I just said, not astral project, but, um, literally travel to you through their third eye to watch you with all those eyes. Remote view. Thank you, spirit. Jeez Louise. Remote view. So if none of that works, they try to confuse you. Clarify the five of knives, please. They definitely lie to everybody. Anybody that will listen. It's over. The cycle is complete, though. What goes around comes around, is what I'm hearing. They are reaping the karma they have sown. This the Ouroboros. The snake is now eating its own tail. They're now eating their own lies, their own words. Wow. Emphasis on the mouth and the snake eating its own tail. Wow. They're eating their own crap now. Huh. With the fool at the bottom. While you get this brand new beginning. While you keep trusting in spirit in the universe. You get a beginning. They get an ending. For thinking that you were going to be a lick. Thinking they were going to hit a lick. When it comes to Le you, Libra. Clarify the nine of coins. Who is this person? Tell me more about who is this person. Wow. We finally got a court card. Who is this person? Whoa. <clears throat> Not another Libra. We have King of Pentacles, Capricorn, if I can, wow, they're blocking me, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, emphasis on the Capricorn, because it was so hard for me to say that, what the F, with justice. <clears throat> why is justice why is justice at the bottom why is justice at the bottom why is justice at the bottom I'm hearing you haven't done anything to these people Libra to justify it so why is justice at the bottom? Why is justice at the bottom? They're just evil. Manipulative. The Ace of Pentacles. Your gifts. They want to take your gifts. Physically. Your money. But also spiritually. What's being gifted to you. Yeah, see how she's four pentacles holding it close. These are even people that could have once brought you up and then, right, Ace of Pentacles, like they love bombed you. Oh my gosh, spirit come through. They love bombed you for some. 
These are evil narcs. These are evil narcissists. And they love bombed you at first. Okay? Showered you with attention, affection, or gifts, whatever. And just energy. And then it's like they want you now that they have taken all of that back for some of you or you figured them out okay you figured them out they want you to feel like this like oh i need to hold back i need to save while they're sitting over here king of pentacles status jealous of libra in the pre-empress energy, the nine of pentacles. While you're stable, secure, focused, independent. Ah. This person could just do silly things, try to make you test you or make you feel silly or stupid or they did this in the past. Like this person thinks they know you. They don't know jack about you straight up. They don't know. They don't know you. They don't know you like that. And th this is a group that's been gang stalking you for years. They still don't know you like that. They see you like this. They see you breaking bread. With the people you love. Mm. And here's a queen of pentacles. There's that temperance. Again, the Ten of Cups and the Knight of Cups. They came in with the, all this love for some of you in the past. Or this person works for these people. This person that thinks you're a lick works for these people. They want to profit off of you somehow, okay? This is what that means. They want to profit off you somehow. Just beware of love bomb, you know, love bombers, right? Like, beware. Why is the king and queen of pentacles here? Thank you, spirit. Why is the king and queen of pentacles here? Because of how tapped into spirit you are. Your ever-flowing tap. The ace of baskets. I'll put that over here with the ace of pentacles. With the five of baskets at the bottom. You're a survivor. You've endured the same storm that these baskets over here that are all torn and tattered up. But there's two that stand strong. This would be you and your person. Whoever. But these two baskets are almost like, um, like untouched. In perfect condition. Well, it's really weird that this King of Pentacles, and I chose to use these two decks. Um, this wolf. Wolves. I love wolves because I love dogs. Okay, in general, in real life, right? You know. But wolves and coyotes have been coming up 
like onto my algorithms lately. Advice for Libra. Advice for Libra. Advice. 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 Let's go. The Eight of Sticks. This is the Eight of Wands again. But this is a really good card to get your advice. Wow, with the Seven of Sticks, the Seven of Wands. So you got the Seven and the Eight of Wands as your advice, okay? First, the card that popped out, the Eight of Sticks. This shows all that magic that was sent towards you, all this crap. They all got stuck into the tree. The tree is like your spiritual family, your ancestors, to spirit, the divine as a whole. It was the buffer between you here and all that. So my initial feelings with the wands were an, of a negative nature <clears throat> in the very beginning of the reading. You know, I like to put positive spins on things and I have to read things multiple ways because I'm reading for so many different Libras. But yeah, Libra, it's showing spirit was the tree that got struck by lightning and transmuted and absorbed all that was meant to be sent towards you to destroy you. <coughs> My throat chakra. But you persevered. You actually... are becoming a very skilled hmm. I'm, I'm seeing that full card again in my mind from the light series tarot the full card is usually an initiate I just heard skilled initiate <clears throat> you're becoming a skilled initiate okay 27 27 seven of sticks this is a shapeshifter you know, Libras are natural um, chameleons. Chameleons. Um, and it's not that we're fake. We can just get along with anybody. And real recognize real. Yep, that's what this is. Because this person was on the run from trouble and came across a shaman in the swamps. And he asked the shaman to turn him into a shapeshifter. And the shaman could tell his heart, okay? Because real recognize real, okay, Libra? Hear me out. And so he granted him the ability to shapeshift between his human form or an alligator. And now he also was given the ability to bless or curse those that cross his path. These people don't want none. Libra, you, you have so much power here. Look at the size of your wand compared to their sticks. Really. <clears throat> and your ability to turn situations into your advantage because she's going to go retrieve a piece of bark from this tree that got struck by lightning to do some extra powerful protection magic so it's like you're using this transmuting it Keep doing what you're doing. Now I'm hearing Bryson Tiller. No matter what, keep doing what you're doing. Keep doing what you're doing. Whatever you do, keep doing it. You gotta keep it moving. You gotta keep it moving. Hey, 
you're doing what you're doing. Oof. Oof. Because they're just going to, I guess, keep being mad and just keep talking about you, Libra. Just beware of these people that are talking about you around you. They're not right. That's the Seven of Swords. Watch your food and drinks at gatherings, too. Because she's putting something into the pot. These people just want to stir the pot, also, is what I'm hearing. With this Five of Wands, at the, all this gossip going on behind your back. It's all out of jealousy. Literally, envy, jealousy. What's your advice, okay? What's Libra's advice? Just be cautious about who you trust, okay? What's Libra's advice here? The High Priestess at the bottom the hierophant wow you got the nine of cups again the nine of cups the hierophant ten of swords now i'm hearing these boots were made for walking that's just what they'll do one of these days, these boots are gonna walk all over you. Even though nobody's wearing boots. Everyone's barefoot in these cars. <laughs> but. It's almost like. You're so spiritually in tune and connected. With the most high creator. That's where you just need to remain focused. That's your advice. You're, you're being granted wish fulfillment. Double confirmation. Nine of Cups twice. Ten of Swords. It's you walking away. You've really sharpened your intuition really learning how to trust your intuition when it comes to people or situations Libra and you know um, what's not for you with the ten of swords and you're <clears throat> definitely not afraid to walk away from anyone or anything that is not truly serving you what the heck was that I don't even know what that was, but I want to end this reading off with a little bit of that song I just channeled. Park of a told me believe me. I wish I could see me. What you say when we talk. All right, Libra, it's a really beautiful song. Check it out. Like I said, keep doing what you're doing, stay balanced, stay blessed. I hope you found some messages here. Give this reading a big thumbs up. Thank you so much for your continued support. Peace.